for this afternoon. Nothing. Okay. Weird. Uh, ben. All right, Ben Hello. says, I love robots because I love Bamzuki. Huh. Well, Ben, you're just time. It's now time for the grand final of Bamzuki. Four zooks left. Who will be triumphant? You're about to find out right now. Here is Bamzuki. Yeah. They say it's not the winning, it's the taking part that counts. True only if the part they're taking is the Bamzuki trophy right back home to the mantelpiece. It's the day of reckoning, and I suspect that our teams will want to get gaming. Finalists, one of you will become the ultimate street rules champion. So, introduce yourselves. Hi, we're Arm Just Once, and we're about to kick even more soup, but... Hi, we're Mean Green, and we're ready to rumble. Hi, we're Carlo Shianus. We're good, we know it, deal with it. What's your mind, Mike? Your history. Street. Street race course selected. He's on his way. The authorities are asking citizens to be on the alert for any unusual or suspicious behavior. Police are searching for a man in his 70s. The individual is understood to be the leader of an underground organization known as Bamzuki. The secretive group are believed to be behind the recent spate of civil disturbances. That's right, we may be underground, but thousands applied for the chance to take part in this competition. Today, only four teams were brave enough, strong enough, fast enough and agile enough to make it. Let's check out their zooks. In lane one, armed response arrives here as the fastest loser. No second chances today. In two, this Zook makes lightning look slow. It's Mean Green. In lane three, it's Coralagianus, the bad boy beetle. Two times a winner, does he fancy a hat trick? And finally, Iron Might, the comeback king. A big heart and an even better pit crew. Four best Zooks the world has ever seen. Who is going to come out on top in this first street race? Well, there goes Mean Green, followed by Armed Response. The usual lightning start from the Green Zook. We've got Armed Response in second, Iron Might in third, and Correlationus bringing up the rear. But here goes Mean Green, weaving his way down the straight. Absolutely no problem. Takes the corner superbly. Armed Response in second, Iron Might in third, and Correlationus falling further back. Those two both turn very well, but Cory giving slightly vain chase. But here comes Mean Green. We know how quick he is. We've seen him win this street race twice before. He comes zooming around that corner. We lose sight of him, but he's literally miles in the lead. Giving chase, Correlationa sort of sauntering along, not making much impression. But here comes Mean Green, yet again a winner. Who is he going to go up against? If it was all about speed, he'd be crowned champion right now, but it's not, but he's given himself the upper hand for the next round. Into the arena he goes. Who's going to finish in second? Armed response just holding off Iron Might. Armed response from Iron Might on the final straight. I think Armed response is going to get it. Doesn't really matter. He'll fancy himself up against anyone in any round. He takes second. Iron Might third. Correlationus, where's he? Well, he's going to finish fourth but he's almost cockily sauntering along this straight saying, OK, I might not be quick, but you just pick me if you dare. Well, I suppose it was predictable that Mean Green would win that, but I wouldn't like to predict who he's going to pick. Hey, right then, you lot, come with me, because uh, we're old mates by now, and I'm hoping that your zooks have got some secret moves up their sleeves ready for today. Psych yourselves up. We're going down. We've made it to the final. Let's make it a good one. So, your Zook is this close to making it into the Zook Hall of Fame. It's pretty VIP in there, but luckily, you're all on the guest list. 
Mean Green tops the par once again, but is now faced with the toughest decision of his short Zuki life. Will it be Iron Mike? He'd be my choice, but that's hardly the soft option. Our response is here as fastest loser, so technically he'd be the weakest. But look at him! And we all know Coralacianus. Surely no one in their right mind would choose to tussle with him. Level one. Hello! Welcome to final day. Only the best day of the year. Follow me. Do you know what? This morning it was so exciting, the birds were singing, my boiled eggs came out perfectly, I even brushed my teeth for today's final. That's how excited I am. Has it sunk in just how big this is yet? It's sinking. Ah. I can tell you it's bigger than a really big, big thing that was bigger than it was the day before. It was massive. So it's big then? Yes. Team Mean Green, it's time. Who are you going to choose? The orange team. <gasps> Why do you think you're going to beat Iron What have you got that they don't? Speed. OK, well, your tactics are fresh, but will you lose your cool when you see what the game is? Yes, it's classic capture the flag with a little twist. If you look closely, you'll see there are two super drones. You're going to need all the luck you can get, fellas. Capture the flag. It's simple. Right, Peachy? Right, Derek? Shall go to cross the bridge and collect your flag, then scuttle back home. Easy, right? Well, it would be if it wasn't for the drones. Oh, bad luck, Peachy. If you can get past them, grab the flag and return home to hoist it before your opponent, then you are the winner, my friend. Nice one, Derek. George, it's capture the flag. Still think that Mean Green can bring home the Street Rules trophy for you? Confident, but nice. OK. Well, here goes nothing. Mean Green up against Iron Mike. I thought this might be the first pairing. Oh, Away they go. Pretty much together. Iron Mike, a good start. Running to a drone there. How's Mean Green getting on? He's being bundled around as well. They're both there together, clambering over that final drone. Iron Mike's got his flag. Mean Green's got his flag. They begin the return journey. Oh, and Iron Mike's found the gap and done it. This is why it's the final, and I know I always say never underestimate a Zook, but Mean Green is normally awesome at this game. That is a very surprise win. Are you happy with that, mate? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. OK, well, here comes round two. Well, Mean Green, is he going to bounce back from that shock? He goes first. Iron Mike goes second. Mean Green has got over, got over a drone, but he means he got it out of the way for Iron Mike. They've both got their flags. They're beginning to return leg. Mean Green really streaking through. He's got caught by the final drone. Can Iron Mike wriggle free? Oh, he has! I can't believe it! Wow, that really could have gone any way, couldn't it? Oh, Mean Green, looked like you had it in the bag there, but those super drones were looking for you. So congratulations, Iron Mike. You are through to the next round. Well done. You look very pleased with yourself. And sad to say, Mean Green, going to the Eliminator. Well, that's a shock whichever way you look at it. Mean Green, turns out he is beatable. So, two more Zooks step up to the play. We've got Elliot with armed response. Jonathan with Correlationus. One is fast, one is strong. Elliot, how are you feeling? I'm feeling very confident. And Jonathan, how about you? I'm feeling good. OK. Well, get your game faces on, people. Let's play Capture the Flag. Two beefy big fellas up against each other here. And away they go. And look at our response. Just absolutely pounding his way. But Corey's no slouch. They both got their flag, but Ard's response has no time for the drones. 1-0. Armed response. Those super drones were a walkover for you, quite literally. Great first round for you. you still confident? Yeah, I'm still very confident. Good, you should be. Let's see what happens now in round two. Well, if I was a drone, I'd be looking for somewhere to hide. Away goes Corey first this time. <laughs> Look at Armed Response right on his tail. They both get their flag and turn. And it's Corey who's turned first. Has he found the gap? But here comes Armed Response. They're taking the drones with them. Oh, it's good. Oh, I think it's Correlationus. That was so close. Correlationus, well done. You just managed to bring it back for you then. So that means it's 1 1, even Stevens. Round three. Only an idiot would predict the outcome of this. I'm going for Correlationus. And away they go.
they go. This time, absolutely together. The drone's putting up a bit of a fight, but it's pretty much in vain as far as Coronationis is concerned. He's got his flag. He's turned. He's on the way back. Oh, and he's done it! Fantastic work. Well, it wasn't as close in the final round. A clear winner there, Coronationis, Jonathan, and the team. Congratulations, you are through to the level two. Well done. And unfortunately, that means that our response, you know where you're headed. The dreaded eliminator. <coughs> what on earth happened then? Well, you know what that was. What? You've got a touch of finalitis. That's contagious. Stay away from it. Well, in the battle of the big boys, Correlationis blue armed response out of the water. It may be the final day, but this is your final chance. It's the pressure pusher. <laughs> Pressure Pusher is the ultimate test of Zook and Zookster. Shout attack to push the barrel into your opponent's heart and retreat to return home. Pick your moment and attack again. To win, the barrel must be over the line and you must be safe on your side. Get caught in your opponent's zone when the klaxon goes and you're out. Simple, eh? Well, it would be if you knew how much time you had. Don't forget, fellas, the time always changes on this game. That's why they call it the pressure pusher. You never know when it's going to blow. You ready to play? This is to keep your place in the game. Let's play pressure pusher. Well, neither of these Zooks would have thought they'd find themselves in this position. And well, our response wouldn't have imagined finding himself in that position, whatever it is. Pete Green can't believe his luck. He retreats with a barrel firmly in armed response, his heart, and armed response in absolute turmoil. He's on his back, his flipper isn't working. Well, is that game over? Is he gonna put up no sort of fight? Well, this is a design flaw. Has armed response been found out? They're desperate. He can't get himself back up. Me Green happily in his own heart, but look at this. Armed response, his last desperate effort to get the barrel into Mean Green's heart, but Mean Green's having none of it. He pushes the barrel back. He retreats to safety. Surely armed response, his days are numbered. When's the clock going to tick down? There it is. He's out. That was so unfortunate, Elliot. So sorry to see you go in this performance, but unfortunately that means for you that uh, Mean Green are going through. Well done. Yeah. Yes. Well, it was too little too late for armed response. You are about to become a cyber smoothie at Cafe Zooktopia. Got any last words, Elliot? Uh, we're very happy to have got this far, and we think we've done really well. Ah, I see you're armed with a good response there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I think I got a bit of Zook juice on me there. That's another trip to the dry cleaner. <coughs> um, final itis. Have you been breathing on me again? Hey, look, it doesn't matter. The only serious side effect is overexcitement. You've already had that today. That's true. <coughs> Still, better go and see the doctor about it, eh? Oh, well, luckily, we're just on time to see Dr Vigo, and apparently he's turning into a fitness guru. Of course, my girlfriend Ursula loves me for my personality, but you know, it is important that I keep in shape so that I am healthy and strong for my many expeditions. Zooks also need to be super fit so that they can compete in the many challenges in Bamzuki. Senti here has kindly let me observe his endurance training, so I have offered to help him by counting how many figure of eights he can do in a row without stopping. I have seen some species of zoo get to as high as 150 without even breaking into a sweat, but of course that is in a zoo who has reached the ultimate level of fitness. Okay, Senti, I make that uh, 37... 38... 99, 100, wow, 101, 102, 1,333,212. You know what, Senti, maybe you should stop, okay? Because I am starting to lose count and I really need the toilet. Ah, level two, the familiar smell of battle. Of course, you've all been here before, you know what it's all about. 
These are the time trials. Now, you are one step closer to the grand final on final day. But for one of you, this is as far as you're going to get, because only two Zoot teams are going to go through. OK. Do you know what? I'm sure I'm supposed to remember something about today. Really? I'm sure it'll come to you. Just press the button for now. Let's see what we're playing. Oh, it's going to be a good one. It's Demolition Zook. Demolition Zook is a knockdown frenzy against the clock with a twist. Introducing The Beast. Pick your zone and call it. Blue. Blue and green are for lightweight. One point of hold. Yellow. Something for the middleweights. These babies are five points each. Child's play for the beast. Red. A mighty ten points a pylon. Show them how it's done, beastie. Timber! Play to your strengths. Bring the house down. Team Iron Mike, you're against the clock. The time is ticking and your day is running out. Final day, final day. Oh, what is it I'm supposed to remember? It's really annoying me now. Oh, I'm sure you'll suss it out. Anyway, in the meantime, let's start, shall we? It's Demolition Zook. <laughs> so, Iron Mike, the first to go on Demolition Zook. Can he set a high benchmark? Spending plenty of time in the blue zone. Great. Checking his watch there. He's either worried about getting the bus home or he's got a strategy. Heads over to green now. Well, he's not the tallest Zook, is he, Iron Mike? Getting a little bit beach there. Not really getting any points there. Back and forth in the green zone. Yeah, he's really worried about that bus, isn't he? Still stuck in green. Come on, you need some big points, Iron Mike. That's more like it. Into red. Down go a couple of poles. Could do with a few more. The clock ticking down. There goes another. He's got himself stuck. He can't get past that block. He's beached on it. Trying to wriggle him free, but it's not working. He's flipped onto his back. Time nearly up. He's not going to score anymore. Is that enough? Well, Iron Mike got into a bit of trouble right at the end there, mate, but do you think you've done enough to get yourself into the grand final? No. Not sure. The only way we'll find out is by playing the other two Zooks, so uh, bring on the next one. It's round two. So, Jonathan, Coronationis has played Demolition Zook before and scored very highly. Are you hoping for an action replay today? Yes. Very high. OK, cool. Well, let's see how he does. It's round two. Well, Correlationis, I think, excellently designed for this game. Look at that. Knocking down those poles with ease, not getting caught. Heads now to blue. A very definite call, but hang on. I said he wasn't getting caught, but that's exactly what has happened. Almost too many poles knocked down there, and that's lost invaluable time. Clears a little path through the blues. Avoiding the yellow. No one's going for yellow. Heading to red. Finally, half the time already gone. Could do with a few of these going down. Well, he's got three. That's four. That's another. This looks like a better score. Things going well now. The red area nearly cleared. Surely time to head somewhere else. Finally, he goes for yellow. Is he going to make it there? And how's he going to get on if he does? Well, pretty well. Maybe he should have gone there earlier. Time up. Looked good to me, though. It's good. It's great. I tell you what, if they ever write a textbook on how to play Demolition Zook, you might just feature in that quite heavily. What a great play. Um, I, I, it's all down to the last round, of course, but I think that's a very high score. I wouldn't want to be in the next Zook shoes. Oh, dear. <laughs> George, the future of Mean Green depends on you and this next game. Good luck. Let's play Demolition Zook. Well, Mean Green, after starting the day looking unbeatable, only made it through because of the Eliminator. Really needs a good performance here. But that's good. Look at that in blue. Pretty much everyone down. That's a fantastic start, surely. He's so quick, really clearing a path there. Red. And now to red. If he can turn and get over those poles, which he can, into red. Oh, 
One just wobbles and the other one goes down, then another. That's two, but has he got a bit caught? He doesn't need this now. He's in red, he gets another one, but he's sort of got himself slightly trapped free now. Another one goes down. And now they head to yellow. And that's pretty good. Three down there. Where's he going now? Still in yellow. Knocks another one down. Time ticking away. Has he done enough? Oh, I just don't know. And nor do they. And the dreaded sound of the klaxon. It's all over, George. There's nothing more you can do. Do you think you've done enough? Hopefully. OK, well, I'd just like to ask you to take your seat with the rest of your team, please. We're about to find out the scores. OK, teams, the results are in. Definitely going through to the grand final with what is a record-breaking score on Demolition Zook. Mean Green with 260. Yes. yes! Well played. The next team definitely going through with a score of... 2-4-2. Coralicianus, well done. Which sadly means we've got to say goodbye to Iron Might. Aye. 187, though. It's a good score. No, it isn't. <laughs> Cold comfort for Iron Might with 187. But look at this in the final. Coralish Giannis against Mean Green. Well, a good effort by Team Iron Might. But he didn't quite deliver on the final day. So it's almost time for... The Elimination of Destiny. What is going on? It's doing it again. It's getting worse, isn't it? Do you know what, though? What a nail-biting time trial that was. How are you feeling about it, fellas? Funky. Funky. Well, that's the best way to feel, isn't it? I mean, you've got bronze plates, effectively, haven't you? But it is time for us to say goodbye. Let's eliminate that Zook. The power yeah. of the mind. <laughs> 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 there you have it. Well, he's not getting near the Bamzuki trophy, is he? That's for sure. <gasps> the trophy! The Bamzuki trophy! That's why I've forgotten. <gasps> I've forgotten to pick it up. Wait, oh, oh well, that's OK. I'll, I'll make some arrangements. That would give you a good chance to catch up with our favourite zoologist, Dr Vigo. Where'd you leave it? I have no idea. OK, I'll check by the toaster. Bamzuki is a club only for the elite, the supreme, the creme de la creme. But you know, some people won't take no for an answer. Dr. Vigo? You there? Hello? Oh, it's you again. Hi there, I'm Bear Grylls from Born Survivor. And I guess I'm normally known for eating lots of weird and wacky creatures. Uh, but I want you to meet a friend of mine today who I definitely couldn't eat. And there's little Teddy here. And he is the ultimate <laughs> born survivor. Look at him, look at his speed. <laughs> Turning circles, agility, mad, woohoo! <laughs> Teddy, steady, you're going, you're going mad now. Come, oh, Teddy! Oh, he's ruined it now. Sorry, but rule number nine of Bamzuki clearly states you must keep control of your Zook at all times. So, once again, I'm denying you access to the club. Come here, Teddy, come here. <laughs> I'll be back. Whatever. Now, I know you've been here before, but this time it's different. You know why. It's epic, it's gnarly. It's the Bamzuki Street Rules Grand Finale. I just heard the Zooks talking before the race, and they're seriously overexcited. Well, as you know. <coughs> Sorry, as I was saying, as you know, there's about a final itis going around, and that's one of the symptoms, you know, being overexcited. Let's talk to the team on the end, Coralicianus. How do you think you're going to do in this final? OK, I mean... I think the odds are slightly, slightly in our favour, but, you know, you never know. What are your strengths that you're playing to today? Strength? They're quite spindly, you know. We're not the fastest, though, so... But you are quite strong? Yes, we are. OK. What about you, George? What's going to make Mean Green the winner? Well, he's very fast in the straight line and hopefully you get over those hurdles to begin with. Well, teams, this is what it's all been about. From designing your zooks to testing them to battling it out on all the levels here at the Bamzuki Lair, this is what you've been doing it for. 
It's time to play the Bamzuki Street Rules Grand Finale. Best of luck. Well, I can't believe it's finally here. The final race, Coronationas up against Mean Green. This is going to be epic. It's unbelievable what these Zooks have been through to get here. And now victory is almost in sight. And Mean Green has made the best start. Well, we knew he probably would. He's the quickest, and he's left Coronationas in his wake. But Corey has strength, remember. If Mean Green gets caught here, he could close the gap. Well, he deals well with those boulders. And frankly, Coronationas has got to pull something out of the bag pretty quickly because Mean Green's already in the Staplejacks. And this final's almost over before it's begun. He got a little bit caught there, but Coronationas hasn't been able to close the gap. Here comes Mean Green down to the Colossi. He gets clobbered. He gets clobbered again. Coronationas, is he going to get a second chance? Street Rules Champion! Champion? Mean Green! Yeah. What a zoo, everyone! Oh. Whoa, 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 look, 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 team, look! And that is how you celebrate the style. So we just need one more thing now, really. What? I thought you said you sorted it. I have. Thank you. George, can you step forwards, please, as team captain of Mean Green. It gives me great pleasure to give you this Bamzuki Street Rules trophy and announce that Mean Green is the champion of Bamzuki Street Rules. Well done, mate. Well done. Yeah. How does it feel, George? Amazing. Well, you've been absolutely incredible, and Mean Green definitely deserves to become a member of the Bamzuki Hall of Fame. But not just the Bamzuki Hall of Fame. We've got a little extra special treat for you. Mean Green is going to be turned into a house suit. <laughs> you have designed not only the best suit that wins the day here, but also the suit that gets to live on and battle more suits to come. Congratulations, fellas. What an incredible final. Remember, you can stay in touch online where Bamzuki is always alive and kicking. Log on and create your very own sidekick. Find out about all of our winners and get the latest from the Zook Doctor. So, teams, which show rules? Bamzuki Street Rules, yes, finally. <laughs> In your faces, champions. Power to the Zooksters. Hey, you guys, have you downloaded the new Zook Kit yet? We'll do it. Create amazing creatures and race them against your friends. There you had it. The final of Bamzuki Street Rules. We now know who is the Zook of all Zooks. Yeah, Mean Green. Yeah, Mean Green has become a house Zook. He's in the Hall of Fame oh. and they, they got a trophy, which wasn't up to much. <laughs> Still, that's good. Uh, I've got one Better more. Better than nothing. Better than nothing, yeah. Lesson learned. Uh, but Hacker, no. I've got one more challenge for Mean Green. Oh? Well, you know, Mean Green is the champion of all champions, yeah? Yeah. And you know, we've made our own Zooks. Yeah. You made Little Dog. Yeah. And I made Massive Cow. Yeah. In the last few weeks, we've been battling, haven't we? Yeah. And uh, who reigned victorious? Me. No, it was me. Massive Cow. So I've now got Massive Cow, the best Zook in the CBBC office, is going to battle. Mean Green in the final last ever of this series, Capture the Flag. Yeah, is that possible? Well, let's have a look. See, we've now got Mean Green. This is him here, the champion Zook of all Zooks. Look at him! There he's there. It and mean any green. Yeah, and I hope he's ready for it, because he's going to be battling. I spent hours on it. It's Massive Cow. I got
Dirt. 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 Kind of managing to move Dirt. across Dirt. the floor. Dirt. So, are you ready for this? Yeah. Take it you're going to be supporting Mean Green. Yeah, of course. So it's Mean Green versus Massive Cow and a capture the flag. Let's take it hey, away. Make it happen. Come on, Massive Cow! Come on! Mean Green! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, use your speed and agility! <laughs> oh, come on! Massive Cow's getting destroyed. Massive Cow! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yes! Uh -oh. Hey, yes. tussle!